My name's Bill, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how I manage my money and keep myself on a budget to make sure that I can afford the things that I really want to afford in life. Step one, if this isn't already obvious and if you haven't already heard yet, is to make a budget. Because if you don't know where your money is coming from and when to expect it, you're probably not going to be able to have a good grasp on it. On it. And one of the best tricks that I've learned about how to make a budget is to not only keep track of where all of your recurring payments every month are coming from, but to keep track of exactly when those payments are going to hit your bank account. And how I do that is I make a calendar. Now, I do all of my finances and whatnot online, so I use an online calendar that I have access to on my phone and my computer wherever I am. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to do that. A calendar on your refrigerator would probably do just as well. But the important thing to know is to know every month what are the things that you're going to have to pay for and when you need to pay for them. Okay, now that you've done that, Step two that I recommend is getting a good grasp on your bank account. And what I mean by that is most banks will offer you the ability to do something like a combined account where you have a debit account, a short-term savings account, and a long-term growth account. At least my bank does. And how I work with mine is that my paycheck is actually deposited into my short-term savings account. All of my payments that come every month then deduct automatically from that account. Every time I get paid, which is twice a month, I take an allowance out of that account and put it into my debit account, which is a normal checking account. I also take a bit of every paycheck and put it in my savings account for long-term savings. If I ever need to dip into any savings to pay for something unexpected, like a car repair, I know that because I'm saving up money out of every paycheck, it goes into my savings account and I can take that out of there when I need to when an emergency comes up. I also know very easily a running tally of how much money I have left from one paycheck to the next uh, based on that debit card that is preloaded with essentially an allowance. Speaking of debit cards, we'll talk about their distant cousin, the credit card. Maybe not distant cousin, but, you know, brother or sister. You want to keep the number of credit cards that you actually use to a minimum. Now, I happen to have several credit cards that I don't actually use, or use incredibly rarely, um, and I keep them in my refrigerator frozen. Um... The reason that I do this is it's almost like thawing a line of credit. If I ever want to use one of those cards, I have to physically thaw it out to use it, to take it with me where I need to spend more money. Um, this is useful if you want to do something like buy a computer from an electronics store that has a rewards program and you get points back when you spend a lot of money on their credit card. Um, you know, Take advantage of situations like that, but it's really important to pay the credit card off every month. You should not have any running balance from month to month in your credit card. And the best thing you can do is go and take your lowest hanging fruit of a credit card with debt on it and work on paying that one off. Just make it a monthly payment that you have to owe every month the same amount and get that credit card paid off. Okay? Uh, beyond that, keep your credit card sort of in sync with your bank account so that you know again, like when the payments are going to come in and that you're going to have enough money to pay the card off, okay? Set up automatically month monthly recurring payments to just pay the card off at the end of every month, okay? I'll save you a lot of hassle. Finally, another tool that I use a lot is my smartphone. Now, it's really nice having a device in my pocket that I can just pull out and pull up my bank account and see how much money I have in all my different accounts. And I have apps installed on it for my credit cards too that I can really quickly check the balance. It's really easy and it saves me a lot of hassle um, worrying about 
what the outstanding balance is on any given card at any time so I can just pull it up and look at it really quickly right on my phone. It's there when I need it. Next I'm going to jump into some tips that I've learned along the way that are some money saving tips. Okay? This one is important. Buy. Don't lease. Especially don't go to any type of place that has any rent to own agreements or anything. Always buy it. If you can't afford to buy it, don't buy it. Okay? All right. This especially applies to cars. You do not want to lease a car. I have leased cars before, and I can tell you they cost nothing but thousands of dollars every time you get a new lease. Just save yourself the hassle. Don't ever lease. Always buy a car. The payments every month may cost a little bit more. But you'll be really happy because at the end of the term of your loan, or even if you want to turn it in earlier and get a different car sooner than when your loan's paid off, you'll have equity in the car and you can trade it in for a value. And that's your money. It's a, it's a physical thing that you, that you own is in your name. And that car is worth something. When you lease a car, it's worth nothing. You owe all of the balance back to, the, to the, whoever the financer is for your lease. All right, so always buy your car. Don't lease it, and never go to a rent to own, rent to own place and do anything like that. Secondly, cook at home. It saves so much money. It's ridiculous. It's also fun to cook. It's like a little science lab in your house. Everyone has one. Learn to use it. Have fun with it. Experiment with cooking. Involve the family. Uh, you know, get together and make a thing of it. Just cook at home. It saves so much money from going out to eat. Next, stagger your subscriptions. That is, if you have annual subscriptions for things, like a magazine subscription, or website hosting space, or anything that you pay for on a yearly basis, you don't want all of those renewals coming due on the same month. So, if you really absolutely have to subscribe to another magazine or, or you really want to buy that domain name, that clever domain name that you thought of, wait until you, you have a month coming up where you don't already have a renewal for a subscription coming due to do that. And again, you can use your calendar for this to keep track of when your subscriptions uh, come due for another year. Almost done here. Hobbies. Enjoy your hobbies. Invest in them. Buy things that make you happy. Just know that that is your hobby and that that's what you do. Really enjoy your hobby. Invest in it. And really get into it. If you like bicycles, set a budget aside for yourself to pay for bicycle parts. If you like buying electronics and gadgets and you know that you're going to buy that new fandangled gadget that comes out every year, Save up for it. Set some money aside for it. Just enjoy your hobby, but, you know, enjoy it responsibly. And lastly, along those same lines, this is my last tip. My very last tip for you. Buy nice things. Don't go to the discount store and buy something that's going to break in two months, okay? Don't buy a pair of jeans that are going to wear out in six months, okay? Buy yourself something nice, save up for it, and buy something that is going to last and that you're actually going to enjoy having. You tend to buy things less when you do that. If you need to buy a new computer or a new smartphone, buy the best one that you can afford in your budget. Um, don't buy the cheapest one because you're going to end up buying something else sooner, or it's going to have to be replaced sooner because something went wrong with it. And that's really my advice. Um, that's how I manage my finances. That's how I live my life fiscally responsibly. And I hope that uh, that helps uh, everyone uh, to learn a little more about managing their own finances.